Greetings everybody, this is the Desert Shaman. I'm going to do a video today that I think is long overdue. Because sometimes people sit around and they go, well, this government's getting out of control and uh, it's just getting worse and worse and worse. And uh, what am I going to do about it? Because uh, short of uh, bearing arms against the government, uh, it seems like a hopeless effort. And so I wanted to talk today about things that you can do or a thing that you can do and I think people are afraid to touch this subject but they shouldn't be because it's legal let's talk about militias let's talk about the citizen soldier let's talk about uh, the Second Amendment and let's uh, let's look at the Second Amendment and what does it say well without pulling up a copy of it here which I don't need to do and many of you don't need to do we all know that we have the legal right to buy firearms to bear arms and we also have the legal right to a well-organized militia or to form a well-organized militia um, protected by the Constitution. Now let's go back to the 1800s and 1700s or uh, let's go back to the Founding Father uh, days. There were the Minutemen, okay, and the Minutemen were part of what they called the militia, okay, and the militia was a uh, an army of citizen soldiers, okay, that was formed uh, to be separate from any army or any standing army of the government, okay? In other words, it was a private army, okay? A private citizen army. Is that legal today? Well, hell yes, it's legal. Um, and there's not anything anybody can do about it. So instead of, like, getting into this... Uh, concept of like oh there's going to be an armed revolution where a bunch of people are just haphazardly grabbing their guns and uh, making their way to the uh, powers to be to eliminate them uh, there's a much better way and that better way is to do everything legal and how do you do it legal will you form a legal army you form a militia and it is legal and so uh, with the militia you uh, the best way to do it I mean if I had my way of doing it I would uh, try to find somebody some uh, rich elite person or a uh, rich person that is not of the uh, deep state somebody like uh, Bill Gates but on the other side because he's a globalist somebody that is for the people we the people and we the people have a right to bear arms and we the people have a right to and i'll keep drilling this home to have a militia so what if you had a lot of bucks and you decided yeah i'm going to form it i'm going to form an army well you could do it okay you uh, you need to uh you'd probably need to go through the legal loopholes of uh maybe a corporate structure or uh maybe not even that though it'd be something uh something that everybody should really look into um so let's uh let's take for example you decide that you're going to form a militia you should have all the same equipment because see back back in the uh, 1700s back when the minutemen were around and the minutemen were were kind of like a guerrilla group or a spec ops group that was uh, encapsulated inside the <clears throat> normal militia and they were to be ready at a moment's notice and they were well trained uh, they had uh, all the latest uh, weapons of that time. They were well trained. They had the gear. They were soldiers, okay, at a moment's notice. And uh, again, they were part of the militia, okay, a well regulated and well trained militia, which is what we need today. Why? Because that's how you put a check on uh, the globalists. That's how you put a check on them, is that you form an army and you have an... And see, I'm, my, my vision is that it would be a big army, okay? 
uh, maybe have several uh, regional groups in different states, but all uh, connected to the same group, okay? That's the problem with militias now. They're off uh, hiding in the woods and uh, playing little combat games and getting ready for the big uh, end scenario or end time scenario. And I'm not knocking these guys. I'll, I'll more power to them. But what I think is needed is something that could really check the government. Okay. And in a sense, it would be a legal revolution. It would be a legal revolution because uh, you would have all these well-trained young guys and older guys too, uh, maybe as leaders. All these well-trained guys, maybe some of them would be vets, maybe someone, some of them would be indigenous uh, people. But basically what the whole thrust of the militia would be would be for the people, to defend the people. And if people wanted to go out and protest against the government like say they did at Dapple or uh, you know the uh, the protest uh, against the pipeline going across Native American lands in that situation they got bullied and beat and um, pushed around and thrown in jail and uh, all kinds of illegal shit just for wanting to protest. Well, in a case like that, if you had a citizen militia, remember this is for the people. This is for all the people to remain free of tyranny, okay? Now, granted, uh, back in the day, in the 1700s, the Minutemen defended against enemies such as the British, okay? And, uh, other uh, perceived enemies, okay, but uh, but nowadays the enemy uh, and even the founding fathers of this land, the uh, white fo founding fathers, let me qualify that, said that the government could get out of hand. Uh, it could uh, start uh, screwing the people over and, you know, uh, uh, pushing tyranny and pushing slavery and pushing taxes way, way too much like we see today. It's totally out of hand. So the big excuse today is it's the deep state. Well, I don't care. Uh, I don't give a fuck whether it's the deep state or the, the, <laughs> the undeep state. It's all still the government. It's all being worked through the government. It's all being manipulated through government people like congressmen and presidents and senators and blah bitty blah on and on. So the concept, concept here being instead of having an outright revolution, you form a huge uh, militia, okay, that's free of the government, is a citizen militia, it's legal, and so the militia, just like back in the... Uh, early days um, would have the same rights okay to have uh, firearms have uh, semi-automatic firearms have automatic firearms in other words they should have the same weapons that the regular standing army has like the uh, you know the Delta Force or Navy SEALs or whatever the citizen army, the citizen militia, okay, should have the same equipment, the same technology, the same firearms. Hell, they should even have uh, aircraft if they want them. Why? Because it's, it's uh, insured by the Constitution just like it was back then. We have a right to have a citizen army. And that citizen army is the only thing that is going to keep a check on this out of control uh, government that seems to be uh, having a bunch of infighting. We don't need uh, we don't need left and right. We don't need Democrats and Republicans uh, and the alt left and the alt right and the neocons and this person and that person and they're all just uh, trying to. Uh, 
accuse each other of all kinds of things, and especially the libertarian or the liberal, or not the libertarian, the, the, I misspoke there, the liberal, okay. Um, libertarians aren't all that bad. But the liberals, the flaming, uh, bleeding heart, uh, friggin' uh, nutcase liberals, people like uh, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and all these idiots and then there's some there's some idiots in the Republican Party too so I'm not like uh, I'm I'm apolitical I don't care about politics basically both political parties have been infiltrated by the uh, to the max by the uh, Zionists okay and other uh, special interest groups to control this land so what do we do about it well we organize a militia and that militia is legal and nobody can say a goddamn thing about it because it's legal we'll bring it to the supreme court and test it so what you do is you get this huge militia you get backing from some big daddy war bucks or something that's uh, on our side and uh, you you outfit everybody uh, in the latest arms and you train people and you could bring people in like ex-military people and uh, you could bring in lawyers okay you'd need lots of lawyers and you'd need uh, military people for uh, spelling out just how this thing's going to be organized and uh, the logistics of it and uh, the rank and file uh, situation, you know, how, how, how you're going to designate what is it going to be, lieutenant colonel, or is it going to be commander, or whatever, and uh, you have the pecking order, and you have the whole thing. You run it just like an army. Of course, uh, the code doesn't necessarily have to be like the army, like if you want long hair or a beard or whatever. Uh, that those those restrictions could be loosened up. Um, personally, I would like to see an indigenous uh, flair to it, like the Navajo Code Talkers. Lot, lots of red men in there, because see, they know. I should say we know what uh, what went down and how dangerous governments are and how dangerous uh, these idiots are that want to. Uh, commit genocide on the people you got the chemtrails you got geoengineering you got uh basically we're being exterminated so this is a good way this is a very good way uh people need to think about this they need to take advantage of what's available to them and if the constitution and the laws say that you can have a, a militia and i'm uh, you can because there's plenty of militias all over the united states it's just they're not organized what they should do is have a central uh, command okay or a central militia command to where all these uh, sporadic uh, militia groups around the country that are operating alone can connect with one another, okay, and create a, a, a circuit or a, uh, a way to uh, immediately contact one another in case of an emergency situation. And you would have all kinds of people in there. You would have people that are proficient with firearms. You would have radio uh, people. And I would suggest shortwave because I'm into that. Uh, you would have internet people. You would have, uh, have high-tech people in there that could uh, make sure you would have a motor pool. Okay. You would have all the same things that an army has, and it would be legal. And I keep wanting to beat this drum over and over and over again. People are afraid to talk about militia groups. They're afraid to talk about uh, guns. They're afraid to talk about uh, automatic weapons. They're afraid to talk about... A big, why? Because the climate has made it with these libtards, retards out there that uh, somehow this is a criminal act or somehow this is bad or somehow this is... No, it's not bad. It's perfect. It's the only way to do this legally. 
you don't want to just jump out there like i said before and grab firearms and go off half cocked no you want a well organized disciplined trained group of people and it can start in the communities you could start it as in, a, in you know each community and then each community network that's the word i was looking for before would network with one another or uh, you would have a central command that uh, could network with these uh, militia groups and hey how about gun clubs too so you either organize a national militia that is known by everybody that is in every state that is there for the sole purpose of uh, helping people like the ones that were uh, being pushed around at Dapple on the, you know, when they were the, the, the native, not just natives, a bunch of people went and protested there. What would happen if the citizen militia rolled in and say, hey, wait a minute, you're not going to push these fucking people around just like they did at the Bundy. Remember the Bundy standoff? The Bundy standoff, and incidentally, they just got exonerated and then freed, okay? The Bundy standoff was citizen soldiers coming in on horses and cowboys and uh, people in camis, and they stood off the BLM. They stood off the federal government when they were getting out of hand. And that's what a militia is for. That's what the Founding Fathers intended for a militia to be for, is to keep a check on these goon squads, these feds, uh, these people like the ones that uh, shot Lavoie in the uh, Bundy thing, uh, to keep them in check and to keep uh, keep their greasy hands off uh, their you know the triggers and uh, shooting innocent people. Okay. So that's the way it's done, people. That's the way it's done. You got to start thinking about an organized militia. You got to start thinking about lots of firearms, just as many as they got. You got to start thinking about uh, networking. You got to start thinking about uh, all these militia groups that are out that are out there. I uh, implore you to. Uh, make an effort to maybe uh, get some kind of central command maybe that's what you know that's that that's that's another uh, that's another avenue there instead of forming a whole new uh, militia group international or I should say national not international uh, you could use the groups gun clubs and uh, militias that are already together and bring them under an umbrella, okay, of uh, a central command or a central authority or a central citizen's authority, all run by citizens and all run by people of all walks of life. So you would have blacks and you would have the red man, or you would have Hispanics and you would have a, a complete mixture of people, no racism, this isn't about racism. This isn't about uh, the white supremacist and the guy, the rednecks with the guns and all that shit. That's not what it's about. It's about freedom uh, for the people through a vehicle. Okay, and that vehicle would be a well-armed and regulated militia. And as soon as uh, the, this militia saw that things were getting out of control, and see, they're supposed to work just like they did back in the uh, beginning. They're supposed to work with the standing army, and they're supposed to work with the police, and they're supposed to work in conjunction with those people, okay? But here's, 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 the, here's the dividing line, not in support, of something that is uh, illegal, like police brutality or uh, the B what the BLM did at the Bundy Ranch. No. These people that would be commanders would be people like myself and other people that have a vision, okay, about how to protect we the people, okay? And that means all the people. 
uh, from tyranny. And uh, all the people uh, in, in the United States from uh, slavery and, and tyranny in any way, shape, or form. I wouldn't see it as a political movement necessarily. And, you know, you could, uh, if you had a vehicle uh, like this, uh, if you could use this as a vehicle for uh, change, uh, there would be a lot of people backing down. Um, there would be a lot of people that were would uh, start to be afraid, uh, okay? Because then they'd see organization, okay? They'd see uh, that people are organized. And these people that are uh, part of the deep state that need to be taken down, well, how would they be taken down? Well, uh, maybe the, uh, the militia uh, could uh, have a bank of lawyers, Okay, and go in and start uh, suing people. Let's do it legally. We'll go in and start suing people, and we'll we'll start uh, bringing them to court, and uh, we'll start uh, doing the things that aren't being done. That is a big charade right now by the FBI and uh, Mueller, and I'm so sick of hearing the, of these guys. They're just a bunch of jokes. Okay. And I would think that, too, that uh, you would also want in this, uh, this uh, militia, you would also want uh, your group, okay, of people that uh, could, quote, be called covert only in a good way so that infiltration could be made amongst the uh, even regular army or even... Uh, even in the political arena or even in the uh, judicial arena, arena, okay? When you think about it, it's unlimited. It's unlimited. You just got to get the vehicle, okay? You got to get the legal, quote, unquote, vehicle. And uh, you uh, have to institute it and you have to get uh, financial backing, and uh, the citizen soldier is a thing whose time has come. It's way overdue. And it's either that or revolution, people. It's either that or outright armed revolution. Uh, with all these people, what are you going to do? Wait till the last minute and uh, wait till there's some giant uh, EMP attack or, uh, uh, you know, uh, false flag or... Uh, some event that the globalists can use to say, oh, we need to grab everybody's guns and we need to uh, declare martial law. And uh, see, this is another buffer against that. This is a buffer against people coming in and just uh, declaring martial law. And if martial law was declared, let, let's say, by the president, then the citizen army would be there also. Their guns wouldn't be taken away. Their rights wouldn't be taken away. Because they would be protected, okay, by this Second Amendment to the Constitution. So this is what needs to be done, people. you got to quit cowering around in corners and uh, making believe like, uh, you know, the FBI and the CIA is going to come knocking at your door. And you need to stand up and you need to start some action. You need to start some organization and you need to uh, get with it. You need to stand up and be, uh, grab your firearms, be a warrior, okay? But do it legally because it is protected by the Constitution of the United States. And that's basically what I have to say today is that you need to start thinking about this kind of thing. Instead of just, oh my God, what are we going to do? Uh, you know, uh, they don't like our guns and they don't like uh, people that like freedom. And oh my God, we're just so afraid of the deep state. And we're just so afraid of their what they could do to us through the legal institute. Well, this would be a giant protection, wouldn't it? Because who's going to attack one of the soldiers of the uh, militia 
of the United States, okay? The militia of the United States, okay? I don't quite like the word America sometimes being of native descent, but the United States, okay? And states do have rights too, as opposed to, uh, you know, what they think, okay? And, and also, you know, I want to I want to I want to impress upon you that you would need lawyers. You would need the, the sharpest lawyers in the world who were on your side. Who could uh, ferret out all these uh, unjust and uh, illegal. You'd need constitutional lawyers. Um, you'd need a few of them so that you could you could have them attack viciously attack anybody that tried to take your rights away anybody that tried to take the right uh, of the fourth amendment away anybody that uh, tried to take the right of the first or second amendment and the bill of rights so basically you got a giant organization here that's all of a sudden for the people and this all of a sudden has a degree of enlightenment as to what the fuck's going on in the country. So these are my ideas. Go out there, run with them, or uh, give me some feedback on what you think uh, think of this. And uh, I'm always I always got an open ear to uh, any offers, opportunities, or uh, ideas and suggestions. Anyway, I guess I'll leave it there today. This is Thunder over and out.